the chicken bone. News Network. <laughs> we are seeing this more and more every day. Kids who should be enjoying their lives just being kids, but instead they are out robbing people, selling drugs, and some have been arrested for murder. We are living in some dangerous times, people, and it's only getting worse. PD says four kids, one as young as 11, went on a crime spree this weekend. Two of those juveniles ended up in the hospital after police say one of their victims pulled out his own gun and shot them. Natasha Robin has more from Gentilly. For that to happen, it terrified everybody on this whole entire block. Very terrified everybody because we're not used to this. Police say four juveniles between the ages of 16 and just 11 years old went on a crime spree Sunday. It was here in the 4900 block of Eastern Street in Gentilly, where investigators say they pulled up in a red SUV behind a man pulling into a driveway. They approached him, and when they approached him, they had some words and everything. Then out the blue, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the, the young men try to rob him. And that's when he defended himself by shooting back. Investigators say around four in the afternoon, two of the young gunmen got out of the SUV and tried to rob the victim. That's when police say the victim pulled out his own gun, <laughs> fired at the suspects. Two of them, a 13 and 11 year old, were shot in the leg. They jumped back into the red SUV and took off. Neighbors heard the gunfire and ran outside. Came out, looked down the street, seen a automobile coming down the street, hit, hit a tree, then it hit this light pole right here. Four young men jumped out, ran down the street. Officers say they located the four juveniles a couple of blocks away at Selma Street and Peoples Avenue. The red SUV investigators say was reported stolen earlier Sunday from Press Drive. Then they say the young gunman used the same vehicle to commit an attempted robbery in the 2400 block of J Street and then an armed carjacking in the 6400 block of Painter Street. In this neighborhood, I usually don't have any crime or anything, but uh, this is how the city going right now is pretty much all over the city. It can be anywhere. People who live in the area say they're fed up with juvenile crime infiltrating their normally quiet neighborhoods. That's the problem that I'm having that we as Adults have to protect ourselves from young kids that really don't have the knowledge to knowing what they're doing is wrong. They just don't, they don't have the knowledge. They, they're not being taught right. Police say the 13 and 11 year old are being treated at the hospital. When they're released, police say they'll be transported to the Juvenile Justice Intervention Center. In Gentilly, Natasha Robin, Fox 8, Local First. I have to disagree with the comments that gentleman just made. At the age of 11, you know it's not right to do what these kids in this story were doing. But I will have to say, the parents are responsible too. The rap music that they listen to glorifies this style of living. Let me know what you think in the comments. So how you doing today? I'm a favorite little nigga. Just go like the age of the nigga. I'm a little crazy little nigga. I do this shit daily little nigga. He want him a future. You gon' have to pay me little nigga. Don't even pay me They call me Roger. This shit can get wavy little nigga. He made it with shaking. Big Mark, a boy.